Hope World, Armageddon, the flesh of a beast. Okay, so I'll give the plot information. Now, it's on Fanagar, of course. And what has happened is that later on in life, Hank Hall, or Hawk, has moved on in life after Monarch has been exposed and defeated for the most part. But there is a a new time time displacement. And Hawk later on in life travels into the future again. And um, he gains the power of Millennial Stone, a Millennial Stone artifact, which gives him great power and strength, the ability to sway the hearts of people. And he wants to sort of control not only Earth, which is hard, but has a bit of a grudge against Hawkman because of some of the fighting which he was involved with with Hawkman. And he returns to the present day in the time time travel abilities that he has, does Monarch, and Hawk is on, Hawk is on, um, Thanagar, visiting Hawkman, and they sort of, they come into a bit of a, bit of a time dis- displacement sort of thing, where destiny sort of splits, and it's it's a time sort of vortex thing in a, in a deep underground catacombs beneath an ocean of Fanagar, where they've met a celestial lady who sort of works in time and with the time masters controlling the destiny of a hawk world of Fanagar. She is one of the goddesses of hawk world. And she controls his destiny, and she has long feared the things that she feels in a, in the water, in the waters. This powerful threat, when she wants to rule her world, and she's gathered through her through her spiritual powers, Hawk, to deal with him, because part of him at a later date will, at a later date in a few years, will travel into the future to gain, gain great power. And then return, and this is what has happened. Monarch has come to Hawk World, and has a Millennial Stone, and he's swaying the hearts of Thanagarians to serve him and to worship him, and he's become like a beast-like figure, which has control over the masses. So Hawkman and Hawk Girl, with Hawk and Dove, birds of a feather have to oppose this because the, the goddess has taught taught these birds that they must feed on the flesh of the beast. Now it, was, it, it gathers its strength and Hawkman gains the rebels of Hawk World, the rebels against the power of Monarch, the uprising of the people, the people's uprising. And they they battle on the plain on a great plain they battle the, the forces of Monarch for the power and sovereignty of Hawkworld. The killing blow, though, comes from an unlikely source, Kestrel, who, who shows up again, who's an old foe of Hawk and Dove, who shows up again with a spear, a powerful spear of legend, which he thrusts through the shoulder of Monarch, who cringes and collapses and then uses his time displacement equipment to escape and they, they're not able to track him down. But the beast, his armies are slain and Hawkman, with the birds of a feather on his side, are able to reclaim the power and freedom for Thanagar and for Hawkworld. 